Hey, 205, our usual. <laughs> Start the open space committee and um, we are being videoed. Has everyone seen the minutes from the previous meeting, uh, September 12th? Yes. Any changes besides the two little typos we saw? I move we accept the minutes uh, with the typos corrected. All in favor? Aye. No, no second. Second? Gordon. Seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. okay. Yeah, um, so next is the Board of Selectmen have asked us to, to meet with them on the 17th to review the Chapter 61 process and if I will talk to them about the open space and recreation plan letter or approval letter or whatever. Hopefully they've sent it in by now. But So um, I wasn't going to be able to, to attend, but now I am being able, am able to attend. I don't know. Anybody else who wants to come is welcome. It's on my calendar. And I will try to have a flow chart ready to that meeting. Homework. Um, but are they still saying it has to, I was a little lost on reading three times for a policy? Uh, yep. Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, when I just stopped in on Matt Benoit and he said that he was wondering where the whole uh, Chapter 61 review thing was going, so update. So I told him, you know, we had maybe a sentence that we would have added or whatever I said, but he says, I thought it was right on. And I said, you know, I don't know exactly what that sentence was, but you know, if we can just get it taken care of, then it's fine the way it is, unless we want to look at what was it that we had wondered about on that, I forget. The chapter 61? Mm -hmm. Well, I added that sentence they recommended and then I thought, I thought we were good to go. Okay. Then we're good to go. So did I. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that's right. what they have. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But my only question was why does it, does it have to be on the agenda? I can ask Lisa. On the agenda three times, it's read three times. I'm not sure I understand the policy adoption process. That's all. So if we go this first time, we can just. Ask, I mean, right. ask I mean, them if, if we need to do it the first time. Do we have to come back two more times? <laughs> <laughs> Just to smile in the crowd. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Also, I want to ask, do they already have a sample or a letter that they can just sign? Or because okay. I lost track of where we were in that process because I thought it was already done. Oh, oh the letter for the open space and recreation plan. Yeah, that was. You know, she coming out through the hall one day said, Did, do you need a letter from us? And I thought we had already gotten it. So, you know, I said no, you know, and then suddenly it was like, you said you didn't, you didn't need it, and now you, we do need it. But that's what we'll check then, if they've written the letter. No, but the easiest way to get the letter done is to write yeah. it for them. Yeah, we did, I believe, okay. yeah. No, but so. Yeah. Yeah, Danny did back way back. So we need to check and make sure they have that so they basically can vote on it and then okay. I w it, we have it in hand the next day because otherwise there will be another cycle or whatever to mm -hmm. go through. Okay, I'll, I'll call her about the plan. And you want to ask her about the process? Yeah, that's right. Okay. three times. All right. Okay. Oh, you got that? I'm sorry. I didn't see that on the agenda. I'm just yeah. Okay. Next one, Walnut Street. Anything from? No, we played phone tag and I still have to. I saw her, the car, with the engineer's car was out in the parking lot when I came today. But, yeah. All right. Nothing yet. 
All right. Um, it's good I stopped in on Matt on the way here because uh, the next one, Matt's of Maps of Southeast Douglas to review. He said he is <clears throat> talking to Matt at the CMRPC, who I told the parameters that I wanted and mm -hmm. what was in it, and he said maybe he can get it to us on the 27th or something like that. And they have to review the hours that we have accrued yep. to get them to make the map for us for nothing or whatever. Yes. And then he's thinking about asking planning to switch their hours to us so that we could do that, you know, with additional hours. So we may get it someday. This is basically I, the square down here. Or, Rectangle is what I denoted for the this the southeast corner. Because yeah. right? it's you know Walnut Street and that whole area, right. which is really no, wild still. Yep. So is Matt now our rep, or who's our rep to CMRPC? I guess he is until there's someone else that's. It was somebody from the planning board, but oh yeah, I don't. I don't know that. But doesn't mean we can, you know, have to stop examining those areas or whatever. Right. Mm -hmm. Yep. And yeah, I yeah I had emailed um, Matt see yesterday about where the maps were but I never heard anything Matt the map maker <laughs> Matt Matt friends <laughs> yeah so and I have not heard from Sam who I has anyone ever has everybody looked over the open space and recreation plan not all of it hmm? not all of it yeah neither. So when, when you get to it, just, you know, keep sending Sam any messages of things that you see that aren't correct. But Lisa's got a, a paper copy of it, mm -hmm. if anybody wants that. That was much more fun to read. <laughs> and rip apart. <laughs> so it, if it hasn't even been updated and sent in, then we're not waiting for it. <laughs> news from, from Melissa in Boston about accepting it or not. So, okay, old and new business. Um, the $600 that we thought might be um, part of the, I might have mentioned it, this at the MAP meeting we had recently, um, that was about we weren't sure whether we were given 600 or 100 and it never went up to 600. It was just in the um, town plan thing that uh, the 600 was possible because we might have needed it to do things for the open space and recreation plant. So they set aside 500 extra for us, but then we ne never we never got it, never wanted it, never needed it as usual. Well, let us know we had it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, we had to be at the town meeting. <laughs> so. so our budget's 100. Mm -hmm. Okay. Still. So we should plan ahead for next May when the budget requests go out that we should ask for more money because mm -hmm. I don't know how much it's going to cost to print the. We should have at least two copies of the final. Oh, yeah. Two oh, yeah. 200. <laughs> meeting. So. So it's November 6th is town meeting? November 6th is a town meeting, but the, the meeting where the budget is set is in May at the annual town meeting. So we need to plan for the annual. Mm -hmm. Put in a, um, a budget request. So look at certain things and price them out as far as, mm -hmm. which we should do anyway for advanced planning for grant pursuits, I would think. Yep. 
but we certainly could, there's plenty of things, you know, whether roughing out parking lot areas or whatever, which, what well, kind of things we wanted to get money for. Maybe at the next meeting we could look at that and identify a couple projects that right. we want to try to move ahead with. What's the, what are the grant opportunities? Because the state is on, I don't know, depending on what it is, it's different timelines, but we can easily look those up. Yeah. Um, you know, do we need a boardwalk? Are we going to? Signs. Yeah. Signs, or are we able to do an easement or a friendly taking down at Walnut Street so that we make sure all the due diligence is covered with that? Because to bring it to town, maybe right. you need to know the bounds, you need to know the specifics. Yep. A little bit of engineering involved. Yeah. yeah. So maybe we can do some, you know, if we don't, there are different ways we can farm that out to different departments or whatever if, if it comes to that maybe but there might be things that they can't do and we'd have to contract for yep yeah okay but um you know i guess you didn't, i don't know how much it costs to do a little survey or whatever like that i mean 500 bucks or something you know how much do you ask for oh you can just you can Call the surveyors and get yep. a general yep. just, idea. Yep. So you you would say it uh, like a request. You could say no more than mm -hmm. you know, if, so that if it was nineteen hundred dollars, you can just say no more than two thousand or something like that. So you make sure it's all covered. Mm -hmm. But we can get estimates. Yeah. I think it would be good if we got a list of Chapter 61 properties. Did you, you got that one time recently, didn't you? Yeah, it's easy to get from yep. the assessor's office. Yep. And um, just, you know, begin to realize who, what's where and how big they are and how importantly located they might be and start pinpointing a few places mm -hmm. to look at rather than being surprised by them like this last did I sent out everybody a copy of the letter I got from the guy on Orange Street, Justin Picarello, just before I left. Yeah, that I didn't was, see he's the gonna... letter attached to it. I saw the conversation, but I didn't see a letter. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, I don't remember. Well, you didn't. See, you didn't. Yeah. It well, was. I think you only sent the email to me, so I could print it for you. That was from the meeting before. Yeah, I saw the, you were asking for the bylaws, and I saw the attachments, links for yeah. that, but there was, I didn't see a letter. This, I just got an email from, it was just an email, really, from um, the guy on Orange Street that has the property. But that was today. Yeah. And um, he told me he's, he's gotten enough signatures to bring it before the uh, November 6th town meeting. And he loved some support. <laughs> so, what's his? This is what I'm missing. Yeah, what, what's, I don't know. What's the yeah, what, signatures for? What's he bringing towards the town meeting? Yeah, I think we need to look at that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You don't ask for support for something that you have no right. idea what it is. I'll see if it. I don't think I. He ever sent you the final wording, mm -mm. but it was a change to the penalty. I think for it. the. Scenic Road bylaw, and there was something else. I okay. think he wants to limit it to five lots per. I don't know, I, five lots per town to build in a year or something like that. Well, and I said, you know, I, I, maybe it would be better per person, but, you know, I don't think hmm. that you can put a. We tried to do a moratorium one time on building and. You know, it's, there's such a cross section of people that are doing it. Some are doing it for survival. You know, every year they peel off two acres or right. something like that, and then others are doing it just to 
build a zoo. Well, why don't you write him back and say, can you send the, the final okay. wording? Yep, and I'll share it. Okay. Right. Mm. That way you get you know what the wording is right. and where it's going. He, he got his I signature. Know, yeah, I didn't know what he was. Yeah. What, 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 what's he asking for here? I have no idea. Yeah, he was getting signatures at the dump a couple Saturdays ago. I didn't. I didn't read anything. I didn't. He was busy with someone, and I scooted out. So he owns property in town, but he does not live here. He is not registered to vote here. He can come to town meeting. He can make a presentation. He cannot vote at town meeting. So not a resident. He is looking, and then hopefully he has some other residents who are supporting his initiative. Again, we haven't seen the final word. Mm -hmm. gotcha. so, so he's trying to limit building in town, or well, he's abutting this, you know, new Sherborne, and he's, you know, worried about that. So he's trying to limit. Yeah. And share. Okay. Anything? Anybody else? Well, I just I circulated these two um, surveys that Central Mass Regional Planning <coughs> is doing. So, if you have anybody concerned about heat, extreme heat or and waste management, get them to take the survey. And then there's the community liaison position description, which I didn't check the website, but as far as I heard of it, and it um, helps us access the grants yeah. uh, opportunity for the town of Douglas to get guaranteed funding fifty thousand dollars to support community res resilience could go to a broad range of activities and they list some of the things um, especially in relation to uh, regional activities so you know anybody who would be, it's very part time, who would be good for that? Hmm. Urge them to apply. And, but I haven't seen it here anywhere. I haven't looked on, on the town's website, so I don't, I don't know how they're, and it's I didn't even word. know, I didn't even know they were at Oktoberfest until somebody showed me this. I didn't see them. Wait a minute, did I? Yes, I did see them. Top yes, of I did. Street. But I didn't stop to talk to them. They were at the top of where? Closet. I didn't make them. <laughs> <coughs> I yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't. I would never expect them. Unfortunately, that's not on my part. But I would expect them. Yeah, so. They should have taken our spot on the corner of the store where we bailed on. It was empty under the tree. Um, yeah, another thing I, okay. yep, the master plan is going to be reborn at the 1998 and they want to redo it, update it, and they need a subcommittee and they'd love to have someone from each board, you know, so anybody is interested in it, we're one of the boards. It's a, you know, it's a year-long, maybe methodic, methodical thing that will take the open space plan into consideration, luckily, because it's good we got that out, hopefully, before they start doing this. But, you know, so anybody interested? Why don't you read who the, the committees that they're asking for representatives from? Select Board, the Zoning Board of Appeals, Conservation Commission, Planning Board, Economic Development Committee, Finance Committee, School Committee, Open Space Committee, and Buildings and Facilities Construction Committee. This notice is hereby provided to each of these groups for nominations at next available meetings. Once a candidate is nominated, each entity shall send the individual's contact information to the community development offer for master plan committee consideration. Anyone want to be nominated? Yeah, That's we should act on that today. Keep them moving forward. Who does the master plan? 
just volunteers. Last time there was a lot of regulars. <laughs> no, they had a consultant working on it because it yeah. needed um, it needed traffic studies. And where was he from? I can't remember. But he did a lot of work on it, and then the committee would basically review it and say, okay, you're missing this, or you need to. It's like the open space. Right, right, but it wasn't CMRPC. He was, mm -hmm. he was a separate, separate consultant. Um, I gotta find out where the master plan lives right now, the existing one. Digital copy. Is it online? Did you find it online? I need to find it someplace because I use it to pull. Yeah. I have a paper copy. All of this stuff out. Right. You have, so if you have, could you send, me, send it to me? Well, maybe I have a paper copy because this looks like it's. Photocopy? Was, yeah. I'll have to look at what I've got at home. Okay. That's what I have is it's a black bound. Right. Yep. I may have just, I'll have to look. There's a hard copy here somewhere. It's just searching. Yeah, if you can't find it, Becky, yeah, I can find it. I'll just ask. Yeah. So, anybody got the time or interest to do this? I'm already on too many committees. <laughs> when do they want to start this? When they get enough people, probably. Yeah, probably won't be until next year. And it's already on. Mid-October, so and they need to get people from these different committees. Let's see how many they can come up with. It'd be nice if someone from the original one was on there that could kind of steer them a bit. Why not? <laughs> what did we get done? Let's review what we did on what we were supposed to do. It's like us oh. in 10 years looking back at the open space. Let's table that till the next meeting. Yeah. You want to think about it and we'll think about it. Hmm? Think about it. Yeah. Okay. I'd like to read the old the old one. See what it involves. Yep. Yeah. Do you want I me to get yes or no? I can trying to see if I can find it on the If not, call me. I I'll don't think it's online. Being, I'd be glad to lend my copies out. I've got at least one copy. Yeah. I'll look at what I've got at home, so I haven't talked to the assessor about the street width yet. <laughs> do you know, do you ever go by there, Kathy, to see if that house is sold yet on? It's the, sold. It's sold? Excellent. All right. I think they had a big yard sale this weekend or last weekend. Great. All right. So I still have to find out about the width. <laughs> And another interesting thing is, I know we looked at the land down in South East Douglas, and I said that Andrew, that guy, one one of the owners, I thought it was owner unknown, <clears throat> but the person that used to work at Andrew's Surveys, Judanian or something like that, mm -hmm. is listed as the owner. For I guess I could work. It's a big piece of property down in the corner there. Um, yeah, I think the Green River runs right through, you know, the Chocolog River. This piece right here? This little square? That one?
There's no sherbet. Yeah. tell you the numbers of it. Point six six acres. I don't know. Because that was unknown, and this one I thought they thought was all unknown, but New Sherburn figured out they know who that is. So it's, this is unknown right here. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So it's gonna be that, that one then. Yeah. I almost think it's much bigger than that. So this is the one that the town owns. This town owns this right here okay. in orange. Okay. They own that. Yeah, I think it's bigger, but yeah. You want to put a little question mark for 268 12. Or I could ask the assessor about it. I might go in there and ask about the street width. I, I think I covered language. all my little pieces of paper. I don't uh, know if there's <laughs> anything else I need to bring up. Um, what about the next meeting? 11.14, 2 p.m.? Good. Right now sounds good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So let's talk about some uh, projects that we could... Meanwhile, yeah. start putting on the... Yeah, I wanted to talk about trying to establish a stewardship committee, too. Yeah, that was from the um, meeting last time. Right. Winter Project Trail Stewardship Committee and list of short-term projects. Oh, we had the short-term projects. Uh, yeah. Already. All right. Yep. yep. So, make, make that a fall project? Yeah. <laughs> Start it now. Gordon, do you know of any towns? Does Worcester have a trails committee or anything? or? Is, <clears throat> there is a, a, a an ad hoc group that got together and did the East West Trail. Yeah. Um, and then there's Greater Worcester Land Trust. Right. Um, I don't know of anything else. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe Upton has one. I'll ask Upton. I know Sturbridge does. That's a trails committee. Um, I think Hopkinton maybe does. I want to see how they're organized though. So. You know, so we can, like there's de deadfalls on the trails out at, um, on Mumford, uh, Mumford Road. They did it's come with a, my dad, and then a, a it's like, who's, who's cleaning out the, you know, or cutting. Yeah, keep the trails open. Yeah, right. So, have someone to volunteer for those areas? Yeah. But. The town did come up with a volunteer uh, thing because way back when we, uh, Catherine wanted to volunteer on the, the Keevan property. So yeah, there so is we a, got a voucher, you know, a, a waiver. A waiver, a waiver yeah. yeah. We do, so that have. is in existence. Yeah. yeah. Let me dig out the waiver. <laughs> yeah, because if we that would be part of the packet then. Mm -hmm. You have to have a packet. Yep. Yeah, they could adopt 
you know, if they lived nearby, they could adopt the space, or if, I know some folks just like to go out and clean up trails and stuff like that, and they can just say, okay, this is our project for this year or mm -hmm. this season, whatever. Yep. Uh, new, I, I would like to see some of the detail in that being that if they do that, like take pictures, document what they did, and keep track of their hours. Yeah. Because that's um, something, yeah. That could maybe be used for grants and stuff like right. that, and plus it's um, it's a service to the town. The volunteer hours. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. I mean, the school has that too. That they have to do certain amount I, of community, community service. service yep. yep. She get the kids to get a day off from school and do community service instead. Really boring. <laughs> well, that could be birthday <clears throat> related or something. It doesn't just have to be cleaning up other people's trash. They yeah. right. actually do. Right. Right. Or there's Trails Day that yep. you always yep. do great yeah. things with, or yep. um, just pick our own day and do a Douglas Douglas Trails Day or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Possibilities are endless. <laughs> Truly. Mm -hmm. The time, though. Yep. All right. Then. We can share that. Yep. All right. Anything else anybody wants to bring up? Okay. I think uh, we did good. Let's see. I make a motion to adjourn. So moved. Or second. Yeah. <laughs> 237. Yeah. All in favor? Bye. Bye. <laughs>